No! Astro gets hit hard. And Astro gets a quick victory. And down goes Maz. And Astro does it. Maz the Mosquito King has fallen in battle. me to believe one single earthling is responsible for this? First, we made an Eddie's World themed warrior named Astro, and I gave him by far the most powerful weapon in all of Akato. Next came Maz, the Mosquito King, and I'll admit it, I definitely slacked on his weapon. He was no match for Astro, and well, you saw what happened. Today marks the rise of the Mosquitoes. I'm gonna use Alpha Wolf some ball bearings, and a couple Lego figures to make the most devastating and invincible warrior ever. Now that we have everything we need, let's rip open this brand new Alpha Wolf. How well did they attach this head? Uh oh. Taking the head off in one piece is really a struggle with these battle giants, but it's something I wish I did with all our giant customizations. Should I make a normal sized alpha wolf? That might be cool. Here's the Lego mosquito head I'll be using for today's build. I love the antennas. We just need to make the hole in the bottom of the head a little bigger. And we also need to make the hole extend through the top of the head so that the armor can function properly. I also want to take Alpha Wolf's gloves off because I have big plans for our new Mosquito Warriors weapons. In order to compete with Astro, we need to fight fire with fire. These things are really stuck on, and I think I'm going to have to grind the rest of it off. Now we're ready for the big surprise. Clutched in each of our Mosquito Warriors hands will be two red ball bearings. That should give him the firepower he needs to compete against Astro. And while we let that dry, let's modify this armor. I'm gonna use the technique I came up with while making our General Grievous Giant. It's basically the removal of the top of the armor, leaving just the peg. This allows for bigger heads to be used on the figure itself. And because our mosquito head has a long pointy mouth, I'm also gonna cut a channel in the front of the armor so it can be ejected properly. Now that the ball bearings are securely attached, I'm gonna sculpt fingers using a brand new product that I've never used before. It's epoxy clay. It comes in two parts, and after you mix them together, you have about eight hours until it completely hardens. I really enjoyed working with the epoxy clay and even though I never used it before, everything came out better than expected 
and after about 8 hours, the fingers were hard to the touch. In order to make this figure look as fearsome as possible, I'm gonna grind lines all over his body. I think that looks pretty good. Let's see it with the armor on. I had some leftover clay that I didn't want to waste, so I made a mohawk. The clay hasn't completely hardened, so let's cut that mohawk down a little. That's looking really good, but there's one last thing I want to add. Can you guys guess what it is? All mosquitoes have it. Did you guess wings? That looks awesome and we're ready to paint. I was really torn between painting the armor silver or gold, but in the end, I decided to paint it black. I just wanted to do something different and I may have been inspired by the glimpse we got of the new Series 5 Battle Giants. I did make an awesome discovery during this paint job that I wanted to share with everyone. Does anyone else have paint palettes that look like this? Well, instead of buying more, just use the cap of a water bottle and when you're done with that color, screw it back on to a half-filled bottle and give it a good shake. Just like that, you're ready for a new color and the best part about it, it's free. Are you ready for our new...